welcome back to the channel. So as you guys can probably see, I'm real busy lately. I've been real busy at this uh, place, getting a lot of work done. So I have this real big job and I got it done last night, all wrapped up and it was real late. And I said, I'm gonna go home, get some sleep, come back in the morning and bang it out. So, you know, to get to where you wanna get with your goals in life, sometimes you gotta do things other people won't do. And that's what I'll do to get to where I wanna be. So let's check out this job that we're gonna spray. It's a big job on a brand new, nice truck. So I wanted to come in fresh with my mind right to be able to bang this one out and make it come out the way it should. So let's check it out. So it's a big job. It's, it's, it was body work down the whole side of this thing. And it's a three stage, so. It's gotta be right. So I wanted to get a good night's sleep before I came in and had to work on this one. Cause it's gotta be right guys. Just like all the jobs gotta be right, but Sometimes you gotta just quit, quit the day and come back in fresh, the way you can get your mind right and uh, do the job the way it needs to be rather than try to get something done tired. So I'm willing to come in on a Saturday to get to where I wanna get. So let's spray this job and uh, see how it comes out, guys. What's up guys? So we got it all tacked down. We wiped it, we tacked it, and now we're getting ready to seal it. So we primed this car with the white primer, as you can see. So it saves us on paint. So I'm getting ready to seal it. And I use a W400 for my sealer. I don't think I ever showed you guys this gun. And it's just a regular uh, classic W400, but it lays a beautiful coat of sealer down. So uh, let's get ahead and seal this job. And then we'll run out through it on the base and clear guys. So we got it sealed, we'll let that dry. So we're gonna be using the Tecna base coat gun guys on this one. This is my gun designated for all my uh, white pearl jobs that I use. I have each gun designated for a different color. So I'm, we're gonna be using that gun today to spray this truck. And let's stay tuned as we hit, the, hit it with the base now. The sealer's dry, it's ready for a uh, coat of base. So stay tuned and let's do this one, guys. So that's one coat of base. We'll let that dry. And you can see it's almost covered already over that white primer and that white sealer. So we got one coat of base on it. We're gonna let that dry, come back in, hit it with another one and see where we're at guys. So stay tuned as we uh, finish out this truck. It's a uh, PWD Pearl. I went with Prime on it. I had a card sprayed for this color because there's no chips in the uh, variant decks yet. So we went ahead and sprayed a card a while back when I did this color the first time and it's a good match with Prime. So 
stay tuned and we'll uh, run through this one. So that's coat two. And it's covered almost perfect now. So we'll hit it maybe with one more light one, blend it out. Blend out the color a little bit on the lower base coat and uh, start heading with our pearl. I'm not gonna milk this one out and because uh, I'm taking it the whole side of the car. My color is good and uh, I'm just gonna blend it out like this on this one here. There's no need for me to milk out my base to uh, get a better blend. I can blend this one out fine just the way it is, guys. So sometimes you just, each job is different. You gotta do it the way the job, you know, needs it. So if this job doesn't need me to milk out my blend, if I was doing it in the middle of a door, I would do the milk on the blend, but I'm not gonna do that. And that milking I'm talking about is called diluting, guys, for any of you guys. I, I had a guy ask me what I mean by that. You dilute the base with the uh, base clear, and that's in my last video on that one I sprayed with the 3M performance gun, so check that out if anybody's new to the channel. So let's continue with this job. Guys, for most of you guys always asking about the settings, I spray this gun also on wide open fan, wide open uh, fluid, and I'm spraying at about 15 PSI with the Tecna base coat gun, guys. So this gun really works well. I love it for the three stages. It doesn't leave a blotchy coat for the, uh, for the mid coat, and it sprays a nice coat. So we got three coats at the base. I'm gonna let it dry. We'll hit it with the pearl, and then we'll clear it, guys. So yeah, I had to move that stuff so I could actually walk the side of the car, guys. So those flares were in the way. I had to get them out of the way so I could walk it. I'm not gonna walk the whole vehicle. I'm just gonna walk the cab, then I'm gonna walk the bed. So that's one coat of pearl. We'll put three on. That's two, we'll put one more on. All right guys, so this is the final coat of the pearl and then we'll be clearing the job guys. So stay tuned for the clear coat. Bye. 
Well guys, I'm glad I came in on a Saturday to get this one done. This thing got me, uh, beat me up pretty good. So it was a big job, three stage, the whole side of this thing. And uh, it wore me out. So it's, it's lunchtime now and uh, I'll be heading home. So sometimes it pays to come in the next day and finish something up because the job came out really nice. So let's check it out. So that's PWD guys, three stage, and it looks nice, came out clean. So that's the base coat gun, and then the DV1 for clear, with the 1.4 in the clear. I know last time I said 1.3, but I was thinking of something else. I'm still spraying with the 1.4 and the DV1. So thanks for watching the video guys, and stay tuned for the next one.